to be part of your family here. This is a very important day. Uh, Grandmaster Moore and I met a few years ago when I moved to the area. And I just popped in like any other, you know, interested martial artist, get to know the people in the neighborhood. And we stayed in touch, you know, over the last few years. We were honored to have Grandmaster Moore come to my organization's annual family gathering and he presented a great class. We got to introduce him to you know, all the people in our network and our students. And we've been kind of going from there. And, you know, uh, having our friendship evolve, uh, trading information, Trading, trading insights, and it's been a pleasure. I want to tell you, uh, as a professional martial arts instructor, I've met many, many instructors over the years, over the decades, and I can tell you that uh, it's not often that one comes across that is so genuinely interested in, one, the arts, but two, more importantly, the well-being of their students. Uh, it seems like every time I speak to this gentleman, he's not talking about himself. I, I hear a lot about his students. And that's the mark of a great show. So I first want to say that you were very lucky. Yes, sir. The next thing I want to talk about is these things over here. Okay. And these things are pieces of paper with ink on them, a little piece of glass, and a little bit of wood. Okay. It doesn't look like much. Okay. And you may think to yourselves, especially you know, along your journey, these are not all that important. The glass is not important, the paper is not important, the signature on the line is not all that important. What's important is that it's a symbol. Just like the American flag is not just a piece of fabric, these are just not throwaway pieces of paper. These are symbols of something very important. And what they symbolize is a lifelong body of work, of dedication, of training, of study, these are things that represent goals that have been set and met. It's an example to be followed. It's important for you all to understand that these documents here, they probably don't mean all that much to Grandmaster Moore. He's probably, you know, gotten to a point where that rank doesn't really make a difference to him. But it makes a difference for you. And the reason why it's important for you is that these are symbols of somebody that is investing not in just himself, but in you. There are many instructors that will get to black belt after four or five years, open up a dojang, and that's it. This represents somebody that's learning more so that you can learn more. Somebody that's trying to understand more so that you can understand more. This is not for his benefit. He knows what he can do. This is for your benefit, and this is important. Because as students, he's setting an example for you that there are goals that can be set and met with hard work, dedication, and time. Yes, sir. So with that said, I would like to present these ranks to Grandmaster Moore as an official representative of the International Independent Martial Arts Federation. I want to begin, and there's a few here because this gentleman has done a whole lot of work. So let's get started in, in order. So, from the Independent Japanese Martial Arts Federation, I would like to present Donald Moore with a third degree black belt in ninjutsu. Again, from the Independent Japanese Martial Arts Federation, I would like to present Donald Moore with the rank of fourth Don in Ryukyu Karate. On behalf of the Independent Japanese Martial Arts Federation, I would like to present to Donald Moore the rank of six Dan in Shendo Ryu Aiki Jiu Jitsu. Now before I, I hand these further ones to, to Grandmaster Moore, I want to say something. I want you all to, to understand that ranks are earned on the mat, in the classroom, to a certain level. 
fifth dan, sixth dan. These are very impressive shows of investment of time and energy. When you are getting to the level of eighth dan, ninth dan, tenth dan, these represent an entirely different spectrum of dedication. People will work their entire lives to just get close to that goal. These ranks presented, I want you to understand, is a monumental moment in a person's life. I really just want to take a moment and have that sink in, how important uh, this is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On behalf of the Independent Chinese Martial Arts Federation, I'd like to present Grandmaster Moore with the rank of Ninth Dan in Tornado Kempo. Yes, On behalf of the Independent Korean Martial Arts Federation, I would like to present Grandmaster Donald Moore with ninth degree Don in the martial art of Hapkido. On behalf of the Independent Chinese Martial Arts Federation, I would like to present Grandmaster Donald Moore with the rank of 10th Don in Synergy, Tai Chi, and Kigo. And last but not least, I would like to present on behalf of the Independent Korean Martial Arts Federation, Grandmaster Donald Moore with the rank of 10th Don in the Martial Art of Taekwondo. Interestingly, interesting. It, it's a. He's right. It's a lifetime of work. It's a lifetime body of work. But I, I don't feel, I, I, I don't feel worthy of this, because my, my teachers, the, the great men on the wall, the great ones. This is where they're at. This is their rank, and um, it's just, you know, I, I just thank you, thank you very much. But this is. Thank you, sir. This is a big deal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir.